Right, in the last video we saw how basically this keyword works and also we saw what is a constructor. Now in this video I'm going to be wanting to talk about uh, different constructors in the same class. So let me talk, let me explain what it is. So if I say public car and notice I'm trying to create another constructor which is having the same name and then I leave this constructor empty. Now what this constructor does is it's going to create a new object and then inside this uh, constructor what I would do is I would say mileage equals 5.23 notice did you notice that mileage is having the same color right but still I want to add the this keyword so definitely I'm referring to the mileage from the field so this dot price is going to be uh, well if you don't declare it explicitly the car's price is going to be 50 grand and then doors this time would be four or five five okay cool and uh, what I would do is just to maintain uniformity I would say mileage price and doors you know I'm just getting rid of extra stuff that I had added in the previous video okay so now that we have created a constructor right and then if you notice constructor car is never used hey what's that basically you can think of it like this hey you might you might have a question man I created a car using the constructor but then why is IntelliJ showing me this constructor car is never used well the answer is you are not using this constructor you know this particular constructor is never used which is having no parameter right so let's try and create another car let's say car this time I want to go with Audi and then I'd say new car and then I won't pass anything how's that so basically if I pass this uh, if I pass content into the constructor then it's going to invoke or call constructor with arguments if I don't pass any arguments inside the constructor then automatically it is going to call this specific constructor which I have marked uh, uh, with that contains no parameters so that is the basic idea of having multiple constructors and by the way let's start using Audi object as well okay well I'd say s out uh, cost of Audi is uh, let's say Audi dot price right and then uh, okay so it's going to be so much dollars right okay do you want me to okay so for the sake of convenience uh, I'm going to take care for everything the cost okay you know what let's maintain uniformity I would say Audi has X number of doors you know just maintaining the uniformity this time it's going to be Audi dot come on guys what's that doors right you were if you told it doors you're good okay then Audi is priced at uh, Audi is priced at how much is it going to be priced at Audi dot price so many dollars right and then the mileage being I'm going to just copy this text this time and yeah the mileage being what do I have to do Audi dot mileage right okay so far we have uh, created a new object called Audi how because I, and by the way just to let you know if you have if you are not already aware at what point is the constructor called 
basically when the compiler encounters this keyword what is this keyword uh, the new keyword it is going to resolve to call car or or particular constructor so whenever the compiler starts you know whenever the compiler encounters here with new car and then passing the arguments then it is going to call this constructor and so that is the idea behind uh, you know invoking the constructor so basically if you don't write the constructor explicitly then IntelliJ handles it for you gracefully you don't have to worry much about constructor unless you have a specific intent uh, for the constructor to be performing okay now if we just right click and run yes so you see we have two cars now one is Benz has four doors okay and then Benz is priced at 35 grand mileage is so much car is started engine off again Audi has look at this now so we so we are telling Audi dot doors so these are the three things that are to be printed so it's going to print out Audi has five doors again I should have given some space but that's fine Oops, I should have given some space here. Yeah, and Audi is priced at uh, so many dollars. Again, the same mistake. And then uh, mileage being 5.23. Did you notice the effect of having many, you know, many uh, constructors? So in this constructor, we are automatically defining if you, so we are telling the compiler, okay, if the programmer doesn't say uh, the amount of, uh, you know uh, the price the doors or and the mileage then you have the privilege to set the mileage as 5.23 and the price uh, as 50 grand and the doors number of doors as 5 so that is the idea and then okay you can have as many as constructors you wish to have so you can have one more constructor for the sake of explaining it let me just uh, create another one public car uh, this time I'm going to just accept um, just the number of doors okay and this time I am going to accept uh, so I would say this dot doors equals doors okay and that's it so now what's going to happen is it's going to just initialize the doors property um, so well let me just explain this thing to you now let's create a new car off the top of my head what is running right now is I don't know maybe a RAM equals new car and then uh, if you just pass in one integer then it's obviously it's going to take care of the doors so it is oh, I don't know what kind of RAM this is but so it's containing six doors okay now let's uh, try and uh, operate so 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 RAM has ram dot doors plus doors right and please be watchful um, so ram has rams ram is priced at okay so I'm trying to extract the cost for the ram ram dot if I say price let's see what's going to happen plus D O L L A R S dollars and then I would say S O U T uh, RAM RAM's mileage being 
what is RAM's mileage? Uh, it's going to be RAM dot mileage, right? And let's try and run this now. So as we could expect, uh, let me just get rid of this because it's useless at this point. Um, so as, and this one as well, it's useless. So yeah. Okay, now let's try and run this. As we could expect, we can, we can have three uh, objects of uh, car instance, right? And if I click, right click and run, ah, look at this now. RAM has six doors, and this is what we initialized in our constructor. Now, RAM is priced at zero dollars? Aha, this is the best deal ever. <laughs> just go and just take the RAM and come home, drive it home. Who wouldn't go there? Yeah, so, but anyway, RAM's mileage is what? 0, 0.0, then, ah, uh, no, it's a bad deal. Now, so why did we have zero dollars and 0, 0.0? Could you guess? Well, the the answer is, if we look at our constructor here, we are just initializing the value for uh, the doors field. But what happens internally is when a car is created, then automatically all these fields would be, you know, if it's a primitive field, it is going to be set to uh, zeros. So that is why, you know, the mileage became 0, 0.0 and uh, the price became zero. So if you don't explicitly mention the, the price and the mileage, then IntelliJ takes all the privilege to set by itself to zeros usually. Uh, actually not IntelliJ. When I say IntelliJ, I'm trying to refer to the compiler, but please be, uh, you know, in, uh, please be understanding that I'm trying to refer to the compiler when I say IntelliJ, but yeah, that uh, is what I am trying to convey. However, um, so that is uh, what it is in, in the case of this, but I want to also, however, let you know that uh, this kind of code is not good. Before we close this off, I also want to let you know that this kind of code is very bad. Why? Because we are trying to repeat everything that we have already written. If you observe it very carefully, what we are doing is this dot mileage is 5.23, this dot price is 5000, this dot doors is 5. Exactly the same like this, right? Only thing is we are passing the variables here, uh, the arguments. So is there a way to uh, make use of this constructor uh, from this constructor? Yes, there sure is. So all you have to do is, again, make use of this keyword and then pass in whatever arguments you want it to be passed. So it is 5.23, 50 grand, right? Not five grand, and then five, and that's it. So we just you know, reduce from three lines to one line. And this is the best way to uh, use our handle in the event of having multiple constructors to avoid redundancy, which is extra lines of code, which we don't want. Let me get rid of this. Now, here is going to be That's it. So if we, if we, you know, uh, let's, let's try and run again. It shouldn't have no problem whatsoever. Voila, look at that. So Benz has four doors, right? Benz has four doors. Benz is priced at uh, 35 grand. Benz mileage is uh, 10.25 uh, miles per gallon. I don't know. It's funny, but, but let's bear with it. <laughs> Okay, and uh, RD has five doors, okay? RD's price is 50 grand, and then mileage is 5.23. Again, we have another RAM, so six doors, price being zero dollars, mileage being 0, 0.0. So, so I hope you get the point, in the event of having multiple constructors, 
it is your uh you know it's it's very important that you don't uh, reuse this i mean you don't use uh, multiple lines of code when you can get it done in this fashion so all you have to do is make use of this like i said this is what is now you might be wondering hey rakshit so you said this dot something should be used how come you are using this with a bracket so the answer is when you use this keyword it is trying to refer to whoever is using it which means which means in other words when i say this i am trying to refer to the car constructor again right i am trying to refer to the car constructor uh, and uh, that car constructor is here okay now you might have another question okay rakshit so you're trying to do okay uh so that's it have a you know i don't want to keep you holding on for long time and you know we can we can you know, figure that out in the upcoming videos but uh, that's it so far and i hope you like you know i hope you got value from this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share uh, we'll check out the next topics in the uh, upcoming videos have a great day